Hey everyone, I am Ms. Hu, your physics teacher. In this video, I am here to talk about the variable resistor. Now the variable resistor, also known as a rheostat, is basically a wire coil which we use to manipulate the resistance when we connect this in a circuit. Now how it works is like this. You can see in this rheostat there are four black screws here. And you can see there's a wire coil here. And this is the slider, which you can use to slide so that this wire strip will connect to different parts of the coil. So when connecting the rheostat, always remember that you need to connect the wires on opposite ends and opposite sides. That means one up, one down on opposite sides. Could be this way. You never connect the crocodile clips or two up or two down. So with the black screws, you can open to get the screw, which is where you clip the crocodile clips. Okay, so if, for example, you can clip it here or open this up and clip it at the bottom here. Likewise, on this side as well as this side. So remember that when you connect the rheostat in a circuit, one up and one down, or you can connect over here and one down over here so never connect both up or both down the reason why we connect it this way is because Let's say this was connected to the positive terminal. So when current flows in, it's going to flow in through the crocodile clip, in through this rod, down the slider, into the coil, and then out through this wire. If you connect both down, then it doesn't matter how you slide it because the current is going to flow in through the coil and out the other way. So no matter how you slide it, it's not going to make any difference. Likewise, if you connect both up, if you connect both up, then what happens is that current is only going to flow from the crocodile clip through this rod all the way to the other side. So even if you slide the slider, there's absolutely no difference to the resistance. So by connecting one up, one down, when you change the position of the slider, you change how much of the wire coil the current is going to flow through. So for example, in this case, current is going to flow in this way through the wire coil here and out through the crocodile clip. If you slide the slider to the other end, then current's going to flow in through the slider, through the wire coil and out the other end. The function of a variable resistor or a rheostat is to change the resistance. That means this particular component has resistance which can be changed. And the purpose of changing the resistance is to change the current value that flows inside the circuit. So one of the things that could help you understand how the rheostat works to change its resistance is to understand how the length of the wire affects its resistance. If you can recall, resistance is something like friction. It provides an obstacle against the current that's flowing through the wire. So obviously, when the length of the wire increases, there's more distance for the current to flow through, which increases the friction which the current needs to overcome. So logically, when the length of the wire increases, its resistance also increases. Now, length of wire is not the only factor which affects the resistance, but in this video, we're only going to talk about this factor because it's relevant to the rheostat. If you'd like to know more about the other factors, please watch my video on the factors which affect the resistance of a wire. In the meantime, let us move on to understand how the slider changes the resistance of a rheostat. In this diagram, we have a representation of a simple wire coil. So we know that the length of a wire increases its resistance. But if we have the wire all in a straight line, then we get an incredibly long length of wire. So if we want to shorten the length of the device, all we need to do is take the wire and wrap it around a coil like this. So now we have a shorter device because the long wire has now been looped around a coil like this. So this is why a rheostat is a wire coil. So here we have a diagram of a rheostat. 
we have the slider on top and the wire coil at the bottom, and the slider is touching the wire coil. When we want to change the resistance of a rheostat, we need to move the slider in order to change the resistance. Why does the slider change the resistance of the rheostat? So remember, the greater the length of the wire, the greater its resistance. So when we want to connect the rheostat to a circuit, we must clip it in such a way that one clip goes onto one end of the slider and the other clip to the opposite end of the coil. So for example, let's say we connect the crocodile clip here where the red dot is, and we connect another crocodile clip to the end of the wire coil like this. So how the current would flow would be like this. Say that the current is flowing in through the wire on the top here. The current would then flow through the rod, through the slider, through the coil, and out the other end. What happens when we move the slider? So let's say now we move the slider closer to the end where we've clipped the crocodile clip. In this case, the resistance would be greater because now current would flow through the rod to the slider and you can see at this point, there is a greater length of wire in the coil which the current needs to flow through. And that's why the resistance is now higher. If we slide the slider to the opposite end, this decreases the resistance because now current would flow in through the rod, through the slider, and you can see that the part of the coil which the current flows through is now very short. Hence, there will be lower resistance. This is why when we connect the rheostat to the circuit, I always say one up, one down on opposite ends. What happens if you connect the wires to both ends on the top of the rod? However you slide, there will be no change in the resistance because all that's happening here is that the current is going to flow through the rod out to the other end. It's not even going to go through the coil. So you can slide it however you like. There will be absolutely no change to the resistance. The same is also true if you connect the crocodile clips to the opposite ends of the coil without connecting it to the rod. This time, the current is going to flow through the entire coil, which means a really high resistance in this case, without even going through the rod. So however you slide the slider, there will also be absolutely no change to the resistance. First of all, let's test whether the batteries and the light bulb are working. So we're going to do a direct connection. The colors of the crocodile clip do not matter. Okay, and as you can see, the batteries are working, light bulb is working. Okay, now next, we are going to connect the light bulb to the rheostat. So for the rear side connection, remember it's one up, one down. So you can see that when you place the slider at this end, the resistance is the least because this is the amount of coil that's gone through. So that's why the light bulb lights up because it has less resistance, more current. Now, as we slide it to the other side, you can see now that the resistance is much higher because the current has flown through the entire coil and the resistance is so high that the current is now too low to light up the light bulb. If we had connected the rheostat incorrectly, for example, over here, when we have two down, no matter how we slide the slider, there's no difference to the brightness of the light bulb. If we connect both to the top, the light bulb lights up. There is no difference in the brightness of the light bulb because there's absolutely no changes to the resistance because current is now flowing along the rod instead of through the coil. So this is the wrong 
way to connect, we have to connect one up, one down. So now it's the other way because we've got the current flowing in through this rod and down the coil this way. So depending on how we make the connection, we can change the resistance of the coil and therefore the current in the circuit. So I hope you found this video educational and helpful. Don't forget to click like and hit subscribe. Switch on your notifications so that you can get updates on when videos just like these about experiments and practicals will be released by Miss Ho. Happy studying! Never put them...